Thank you for being here, appreciate you all. Raise your hand if you're a parent. Raise your hand if you're a teacher. Raise your hand if you are a maker. Raise your hand if you are a creator, right? We are all of these things, right? We are makers, we are creators. And um, I am an ethnic studies and arts making teacher. I ask you, who is a maker? Who says what making is? Who speaks? Who speaks on behalf of who? Who doesn't speak? Who? remains invisible. Defining knowledge is always a process of othering. Gary Spivak tells us that knowledge is never innocent. It expresses the interests of the producer. So as practitioners, how we choose to tell the story of making matters. How we name agency in our work defines our interest. For us, critical consciousness is a deep historical practice of self-reflection of how we are seen in the world. For students, it's, it's using arts making to ask questions about my learning and why it matters to me. We used arts making this entire year as a means to promote learning that was humanizing, culturally engaging to their lives, and developing empathy towards oppression and the conditional realities of others. Our learning process involved critical thinking, project-based learning, imagination. We experienced the process of humanization or in arts making language, iterations of understanding our relationships to systems of oppression. Yes, we did this with sixth and seventh graders. So what might these iterations look and feel like if we use art making through the lens of humanizations? Or how did we humanize arts making in ways that promoted critical consciousness? We looked at the design process of making our own skin color. We mixed primary and secondary colors using tinting and shading to make our own shades of brownness. Look, Mr. K, this is actually my skin color. I made it, look. Students were able to talk about internalized racism. They're able to talk about the politics of identity, the politics of being light-skinned, of being dark-skinned, right? And talking about what she's hella dark really comes from. What does that, what does that mean? We designed self-portraits using aluminum, copper, and steel wire to promote and to tell our stories of who we are and where we come from. This is essential to arts making, pushing students to develop cultural awareness and critical thinking about how stereotypes and stereotype threats are related to our skin colors. Through arts making, Sam shared his story, why he is being raised by his grandparents, and how his pain is connected to his struggle, but it's also connected to his hopes and dreams. Arts making allowed him to speak and to tell that story. We also built towers out of sheets of paper using foot uh, masking tape. We immersed ourselves in the design process. We made backpacks, catapults, built cranes, but at times we were confused, upset, frustrated at our progress. We failed at design challenges. We did take aparts, parts purposes complexities, made observational drawings, and mapped racism as a system talked about those parts, talked about those purposes of those parts of those systems, and talked about the relationship and how it impacts us. We made connections to the histories of slave uprisings throughout the Americas. We looked at Nat Turner's Rebellion of 1831 and the Haitian Revolution by making a 24-part series of critical African-American freedom fighters. We looked at the ways in which Romare Bearden, an African-American collage artist used art to tell stories of living and growing up during the Harlem Renaissance. How he used fragmented imagery to depict aspects of the black self. In mapping social inequality as a system, students investigated poverty. They looked at these lines, these boundaries, asking questions about the tents under the freeway, the homelessness and gentrification in Oakland through the lens of Romare Bearden. Arts making allowed them to name the root causes of gentrification and displacement of black bodies in Oakland. We rehistoricized the achievements and learned about the legacies of women during Women's Heritage Month through Aboriginal dream art forms, spurring questions. Why don't we know about them? Who is she? How come I don't know about her? She's dope. Most recently, we explored dominant narratives of the so-called U.S.-Mexico border by looking at the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo and used Mexican muralism 
to tell a counter narrative of the other, students began to understand how borders are sites of violence and how these displacement projects to protect whose rights, whose entitlements, to whose lands, students began to make these connections. Using maker-centered learning and agency by design fra frameworks gave students cultural access points, deepening their understanding of self and created space for asking critical questions. Art making allows them to make cultural iterations, if you will, in ways that promote deeper authentic learning. It allows them to tell a different story. So today, I encourage you to shift power. I encourage you to be audacious in imagining how you might shift the power of arts making and cultural engagement in your classrooms, in your work, to promote critical consciousness. Thank you for listening.